Pasilok from India again. We hope that you are all watching our messages every month. Every month we are keeping a sermon in the net. And I am very happy that a lot of people writing around the world, appreciating the messages and a lot of people writing their blessed with messages. And mainly one person may, made me very happy. He is my grandson named Therapalli Niranjan. He is a software engineer working in America. He got no habit of writing letters to the people, but he wrote me, Uncle, I enjoyed the message. It made me very happy. Please, dear brothers and sisters, do write to us. Your messages will encourage us and uh, we will come to know how this message is blessed to you. Uh, today's message is, goes like this. God made us and purchased us. Today's message title is God made us and purchased us. It says twice we belong to God. He made us and the same God purchased us. Two times we belong to the Lord. We will see some scriptural evidence, scriptural evidences for these things. If you go to the Genesis chapter 127 words, it says like this, God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him, male and female, he created them. So if you go to this Genesis, the creation of the world, God created the human beings. God created the man and the female in his own image. So through this scripture, we are coming to know we were created by the living God. And then goes to the next point. How he purchased us. We go to the second point. God paid the price through the blood of Jesus to save the mankind. We will say some scriptural evidences for this. Purchased with his blood. God purchased us with his blood. Acts chapter 20, 28 to 31. If you go to the first John chapter 1 verse 7 says wash with his blood. God washed our sins with his blood and we become gods again through this way. If you go to the another point brought near to God through his blood. God brought us near to God through his blood. First Peter chapter 1 verse 19 and the other point you see granted eternal life through his blood. God granted the eternal life for us through his blood. That is John chapter 6 53 to 56. If you go to the scriptures we will come to know that God created us and God purchased us. I request all the people around the world, go through the scriptures and listen to these things very carefully. You or me, we have no right to use our body as we like. And you have no right to send alcohol into your body. And you have no right to send the smoke into your body. And you have no right to send the drugs into your body because your body is the temple of God. Your body is a created by the God. Number one, it is created by the God. And number two, when man gone away from the Lord, and man gone away from the God, to save the mankind all the way from heaven, Jesus came to the earth and crucified on the cross, shed his blood and purchased us with his blood. So, by birth we are belongs to God and because he purchased us by shedding his blood, we are God's again. So, twice we belong to the God. There is a story. There is a story. I want to share this with you. This one carpenter in a village and he's doing his carpentry works. He got a son, a small boy. And he said, Daddy, Daddy, shall I make a boat for me? And Daddy said, okay, you can. And the little boy, he started to make a boat. He made a boat with a wood 
And Daddy helped him, and Daddy told him how to do all the things, and he painted the boat and everything. And he saw the boat, and it looks very nice. And he said, Daddy, Daddy, shall I go and play with this boat in the river? He said, okay, my son, go. And he gone there, and he left the boat in the river, which is close to that place, and he's enjoying by seeing that boat when it's going on the waters. And all the children around him, they are also enjoying by seeing that boat, because it's very sweet, very nice boat. This boy made this boat, and he's telling all to the neighbor boys, Hey, hey, I made this boat, I made this boat, and all the people, all the children are watching. And one little boy, a notorious boy, just throw a stone on the boat. And immediately, the waves came and the boat sank down, sank into the water. And the boat disappeared, the boat disappeared. And this little boy started crying, my boat, my boat, my boat is crying and crying. And it's got evening, and all the children gone, but this little boy is sitting there at the river end, and he's crying, my boat, my boat, is crying. And the parents, oh, the boy didn't come back from the river, and they asked the neighbor boys, where is my son? And the boy said, your son is at the river, he lost the boat, his boat sinking in the water, he's sitting there and crying for the boat, they said. And the father went to the river and found the son, he's crying, he's crying, Daddy, Daddy, I made the boat, Daddy, I made this boat with my hands, O Lord. Oh, Daddy, Daddy, I made this boat with my hands, and I lost it, Daddy, it's sinking, Daddy, I want my boat, Daddy, I want my boat, Daddy, he's crying, he's crying for the boat. And father said, okay, son, you can make another boat, please come, we'll go home. And the boy refused to come from there. But father took the little boy into the arms and gone home. And the little boy refused to eat the dinner and is crying, crying all the night. And he is not happy. He is all the time crying. In the midnight he is getting up and saying, my boat, my boat is crying. And in the morning he is still crying. And the mother said, hey, please take this boy to the town. Buy something for him. He is not forgetting that boat. And the father thought, okay, it's better. And he took that boy to the market to buy something which he wants. And while they were walking in the market streets, in one shop, they saw the boat, which boat made by this boy. Then immediately he said, Daddy, Daddy, my boat, my boat, is said. And Daddy understood what happened. And went to the shopman, he asked, how did you got this boat? And the shopman said, yesterday, the fisherman, they got this boat in their net, and I paid price for this, and we, we kept it for sale. And the uh, father said, how much it cost? He said, some money. And the father made, paid the money, paid the money and took the boat, and gave that boat to the son. And the little boy hugged the boat. The little boy hugged the boat and with the joy, the tales of the joy, that boy is talking to that boat. Hey boat, hey boat, I made you my boat, I made you and I purchased you. Twice you are mine. Yes, it is true, my brothers and sisters. The boy made the boat and the boy paid price for the boat to buy. It's the same thing with our bodies. God made our bodies, God made us, and God purchased us by shedding His blood on the cross. So you and me, we belong to the God twice. So my dear brothers and sisters who are listening to this message around the world, please talk to ten alcohol into your body. This is not your body, it's made by the God. And God paid price for this. God made your body and God paid the price. So twice your body belongs to the God. So do not send alcohol into your body. Do not send the drugs into your body. And do not send the smoke into your body. Do not use this body for the adultery. And do not use this body for any worldly things. Glorify the Lord with your body. Glorify the Lord with your body. Because this body is given by the God because this life given by the God because 
God made you and God purchased you. So we are belongs to God twice and we live. Let us praise God with his bodies. Let us live for the Lord. Let us glorify the God through these bodies. And once again I am appealing all the brothers and sisters around the world. You are made by the God. You agree or not, you are made by the God. Agree or not, you are purchased by the God by shedding his blood. So live for the Lord as a loving child and glorify God in your life. I hope you got this message. You please write to us on this message for any clarifications or for any other informations. May God bless you with this message. May God glorify through your bodies. We love you brothers. We love you sisters. Do watch our website victorsministry.com and we have 189 videos. Please watch them. Please think very seriously about this message. How you belong to God twice. Please pass this message to friends and relatives. And you can watch all the messages from January. You have 10 messages already in the net. And do write to us. And you can visit India anytime. You can to share your testimony. And share your heart with a message to the people. You do visit us but in person. And write to us. May God bless you. May God bless you. May God bless you.